In March 1905, Reinecke embarked on his military journey by enlisting as a cadet in the prestigious German Imperial Army. His dedication and prowess soon saw him through the tumultuous period of World War I, during which he not only demonstrated remarkable valor, but also earned the esteemed Iron Cross First Class for his exemplary service. By 1916, Reinecke's exceptional leadership skills led to his promotion to the rank of captain. Even after the cessation of World War I, Reinecke's commitment to his military career remained steadfast. He seamlessly transitioned into the Reichswehr, serving in various capacities within the Army Office of Administration, an infantry regiment, and later the Reich Defense Ministry, situated in Berlin. It was during this time that Reinecke found himself intertwined with the political landscape, providing crucial political training on behalf of the Nazi leadership within the Wehrmacht. January 1939 marked a significant milestone in Reinecke's military career as he ascended to the rank of Major General. His responsibilities expanded as he assumed leadership roles within the OKW, culminating in his appointment as the head of the General Office of the Armed Forces, Allgemeines Wehrmachtamt, AWU A, in August 1940. Notably, Reinecke also presided over the Office for the Nationalsozialistische Führungsoffiziere, NSFO, overseeing Nazi officers charged with disseminating political propaganda within the Wehrmacht. However, Reinecke's path was not without controversy. In August 1942, Major Karl August Meinl's critical report on the treatment of Soviet prisoners of war led to his transfer to the Führer Reserve. This report, addressed to Reinecke, shed light on the segregation and execution of prisoners at Stalag 7. A, by the Gestapo and the Sicherheitsdienst, SD, Security Service, under Heinrich Himmler's command. Despite the challenges and controversies, Reinecke's ascent continued, culminating in his promotion to the prestigious rank of General of the Infantry in 1942. His unwavering loyalty to the Nazi regime was evident when, following the failed coup attempt of 20th of July, Joseph Goebbels entrusted him with the task of retaking the Bendler block. Moreover, Reinecke's involvement in the subsequent trials of the conspirators showcased his role as an assessor on the judging panel at the People's Court. In the aftermath of World War II, Reinecke's role in the atrocities committed during the conflict came under intense scrutiny during the Nuremberg trials, particularly in the High Command trial. Found guilty of war crimes and crimes against humanity, Reinecke faced the consequences of his actions. As the head of the General Office of the Armed Forces, he bore significant responsibility for the formulation and execution of policies concerning prisoners of war, POWs, which tragically resulted in the deaths of approximately 3.3 million Soviet POWs. Central to the case against Reinecke was his direct involvement in the issuance of regulations governing the treatment of Soviet POWs. Signed by Reinecke himself on 8 September 1941, these orders were unequivocal in their brutality. They explicitly denied Soviet soldiers the protections afforded by the Geneva Convention, deeming them unworthy of humane treatment. The regulations mandated ruthless and indiscriminate emissures against any perceived act of resistance, with directives to employ lethal force without hesitation. Prisoners attempting escape were to be shot on sight, without any prior warning. The use of firearms against POWs was not only condoned but, disturbingly, deem it legally permissible under these directives. Consequently, Reinecke was sentenced to life imprisonment for his direct role in orchestrating these heinous policies. However, his sentence underwent review by the Peck panel, resulting in his release in October 1954. This marked a controversial moment in the post-war era, as Reinecke's freedom sparked debates regarding the adequacy of justice served for individuals complicit in wartime atrocities of such magnitude. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.